Welcome to round two of Astronomy Madness. The field of 32 gets underway as we cut that in half to 16. With my lovely volunteers, Cami and Lydia, as always. Today, we are going to be talking about the telescope and observatories region up there in the upper right. And today, kind of an upgrade here, we got some legit audio. We got a really fancy early Father's Day gift here, so we should be able to hear myself and Lydia really well, as Cammy helps us back there on the big board. So, quick review of round one in the telescope and observatory region. We got top seated Hubble moving on with a minus one research bonus, and it is going to be facing the Spitzer Space Telescope, who had a minus one research bonus, but now it's facing a one seat. It's going to get a plus one, so it's evened out. We've got a 5 4 matchup of Mount Palomar and the Yerkes Observatory. Then, with its plus two for being a jungle death ray, we got the Arecibo Radio Telescope moving on as a 14 seed, and it is going to face the active Chandra X ray Observatory, which is down the chip. IRAS, the infrared astronomy satellite, is also down a chip and is going to be facing my eventual champion, the two-seated Keck at Mauna Kea. So let's go ahead and get started. Lydia, our round one matchup. What? I think I said that. Okay, did I not say that? Okay. Lydia, our first matchup is top-seeded Hubble, which is down a chip, against the ninth-seeded Spitzer, whose research bonuses cancel out. So we need eight blue chips for Hubble. And we're going to need one pink chip for Spitzer. Eight blue chips for Hubble, one pink chip whoop, my problems, for Spitzer. Uh, Cammy's been saying that all day. I am honestly a little bit worried about it at this point. All right. Top, wait, no. I shake you pink. Okay, first pick. Top of the box. Do it. Blue, blue, blue. And we got, all right, Hubble is moving on, Cammy. Take that minus one with it. Good pick, Lydia, no crazy upsets so far. Hubble is moving on as one seat. All right, our next matchup. Now I need this a little bit. I got Mount Palomar winning and then knocking off Hubble. So this is fourth seed Mount Palomar against fifth seeded Yerkes. No research bonuses, Lydia. So Mount Palomar, we need five blue chips. Yerkes, we need four pink chips. So again, Mount Palomar was once home to the largest reflecting telescope in the world. That was the Hale Telescope, 200 inches in diameter. And in sharp contrast, Yerkes actually has the largest refracting telescope. So this glass lens is actually only 40 inches wide, and you can't actually make glass that much bigger because it starts to sag and sink in the middle. So we've got a huge reflector going up against a huge refractor. All right, second pick, let's go bottom of the bucket today. We'll go top, bottom, left, right. All right, I really need a blue this time, Lydia. Focus hard, pink and blue, pink and blue, pink and blue. Oh, Lydia's been crushing my brackets for days straight. That hurts me a lot. Dang, Lydia. All right, we got Yerkes moving on in an upset. I got to change my bracket, which is getting rapidly shredded here. Cammy moving up your keys there. Wow, wow, that hurts Lydia. No, we decided, we talked about that. We're not gonna do that for now. All right, now we got a Cinderella story. We've got six seated Chandra X-ray Observatory, which is down the chip, up against the 14th seated Arecibo Telescope, which had a plus two because it was featured as a jumbled death ray in a James Bond movie. And that helped it score an epic upset over the very large array in round one. Would that happen again? Lydia, we are going to need 13 blue chips for Chandra and eight pink chips for Arecibo. 13 blue and then eight pink. So the research bonuses really come into play. If you think about this, normally Arecibo would have a six out of 20 chance at pulling off an upset. But now, thanks to the research bonuses, it's actually going to have an 8 out of 21 chance, which is kind of a big deal. So Arecibo is a radio telescope in Puerto Rico. So large, it's actually built into a valley there. Whereas Chandra was launched by NASA in 1999, it's an orbiting X-ray observatory, still operational today. 
It has to be above the atmosphere because lucky for us, our atmosphere mostly stops x-rays. All right, we've got what? I don't think it's, oh, there are extra chips for just that possibility, but I don't think it's gonna happen this year. Plus with the way you're picking, I don't know if there's gonna be any one seeds left. All right, Lydia. Third pick, left-hand side. Chandra is blue, Arecibo is pink. Uh, it doesn't even matter. My bracket's shredded. Oh, make it a red upset. Arecibo is moving on as a 14 seed. High five for some drama. Chandra X-ray Observatory goes down. Wow. My apologies to Indian scientist Subiaran Chandra Exxon who that observatory is actually named after. Arecibo from Puerto Rico is moving on as a 14 seed. Can't stop it, Cammy. Can't stop Arecibo. A-R-E-C-I-B-O, and you gotta take that plus two along with it. Wow, can I, can I stop the madness? All right, so our final, all right, now you listen to me. Daddy needs a blue chip out of there because this is dad's last hope at having any chances. I need Keck going on. You don't pull blue, we might have to talk about grounding this time. All right, we've got second seeded Keck at Mauna Kea going up against the infrared astronomy satellite, which is down a chip. This is gonna be a seven to one. Lydia, count carefully. Can I don't get Keck, then your bracket will be busted because that's the one you have blue, yes? Yes, that is, I think our viewers understand that. Okay, I need seven blue chips for Keck, one pink chip for the IRAS. So it's only got a one out of eight chance at pulling the upset here. Seven, blue. seven blues, one pink. Cammy, what is that? About a 12.5% chance of an upset? One out of eight? Yeah, I think that's about right. All right. So Keck at Mauna Kea is an enormous reflecting telescope on the top of Mauna Kea, which is a huge dormant volcano in Hawaii. And then IRAS is the Infrared Astronomy Satellite, which is orbiting the Earth. All right, my whole bracket and chance at relevance hinges on this. Do you have enough chips in here? Yeah, you do. All right. So, Lydia, we need right hand side. Right hand side. I really need a blue here. Please don't bust dad's bracket yet. Please give me blue, 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 blue. Shut the camera. Oh, thank goodness. Too strong. Keck is too strong right now. Cammy, Keck is moving on as a two seed. Would you scream if I got a blue? I would have been. It, it would have been tough here in the tree household. All right, Cammy, that's going to take us into the Sweet 16. Very quickly over at the big board, why don't you just read off today's winners? Louder. Yerks. Yerks, yep, that's good. Observatory. Yep. Eric, you don't need your telescope and check that one. Good. So basically now we have left a one, a two, a five, and a 14 seed. Will Arecibo's Cinderella story continue next time? I guess we'll find out. So for Mr. Krug, Cami, and Lydia, peace out. Oh, I cut the music before I cut the video.